Alright, hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Joe Flash, and today, as you can see, it's been kind of a while since the last time I made a video. The last time I made a video was last month during Thanksgiving, and a few weeks later I'm back with another one. I've been taking a break for quite some time because, you know, I've been doing schoolwork and stuff. Well, this is a weekend today. I'm, it's Saturday, and uh, I'll be doing busy work and serving in the mornings at church on Sunday, so I probably won't be able to make as much videos today, or at least I'm hoping I can make as much videos as I can, but we'll see. And excuse me for this camera, by the way, it's been acting up, it's just, it took me a while for me to set this thing up, because it's not been a while since I've used it like this, but you see, what happened is I'm using the camera once again by putting it on the front of the TV. I would use the Wii U gamepad, but unfortunately there's been a malfunctioning going on with my cords. I think I might have mentioned that when I was doing my Wii Sports gameplay, that unfortunately the cord is messing up and I won't be able to continue doing get videos off my gamepad, so I have to be forced to do this where I set things up with a chair and put it in front of the TV screen. So here we go. I know you guys may not like that too much, but you know what? Sometimes you're going to have to just live with whatever there is left to use. So this is what it is, and I hope you guys will be okay with it whether you like it or not but anyway as you can see I'm playing Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Winter Games and let me go ahead and just start this up I'm gonna go ahead and push the screen this is my profile still the same I don't know if you can change it to where you can change your name or not I'll probably find that out later but right now actually let me go into options see if I can fix that can I change the profile oh I can change a name okay it really doesn't personally matter what the name is, but I want to change it to... Oops, sorry, I kicked the uh, chair. I want to change the name to where I use my YouTube channel name, since I've been living by this name. So, that's my real name, Jonah. And, uh, let me just put in my YouTube channel name in. Or at least I hope I can. I don't know if they can all fit, but we'll see. I don't know what the maximum amount of letters are. Okay, I can put it in. Alright. Push OK. I don't, I'm not going to change the flag because I live in the U.S., so here we are. So, if you guys have been following my channel long enough, you know that it's been quite a long time since I haven't played this game on my channel. First time I started playing this was in 2017, on October 21st, 2017, when I decided to do festival, when I do, decided to do the uh, festival mode, which was kind of like an adventure mode of the story mode of this game, and... I did that, I did single mode, and eventually completed af after a month. My last part of single mode was in November 21st, 2017, so it took me a month to make that whole, to, to do the whole entire thing. Then, eventually the next year, I decided to then, on, Ju on July, I decided to then do team mode, which I don't know why it took me so long to, for the next year for me to decide to do team mode, a festival mode, but I eventually did, and it actually only took me two days to do, because I made four videos the first, on July 3rd, then the next day I made two videos on July, July 4th, so it didn't take me long to complete team mode. Single mode, I just been I was just being myself, of course. I was dressed as Santa Claus. And then team mode, I was using myself dressed in Santa Claus. And my te my partners, you could only click four teammates in the team. And my three partners were the three members of WWE's famous faction, The Shield, which was by Roman Reigns, Dean Ambrose, and Seth Rollins. And yep, that was really lots of fun. Now the reason I, so that's what I'm gonna actually do, I'm gonna do festival mode again. Why exactly am I doing it again? Well, I'm actually doing this in December. It's actually that time of year that Christmas is around the corner and, you know, New Year's coming up and it's kind of where it's that cold weather. I decided, you know what, maybe this would actually be a good time for me to actually play this game. So, I've decided to do this game just because it's December and, you know, I do love doing gameplays and I kind of do miss doing them since it's been quite some time. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do some festival mode. Let's go ahead and select it. Now, I'm hoping that I can do both single mode and team mode again. I'm going to start out with single mode, and then hopefully after when it's complete, I can do team mode. Now, it doesn't matter how long it takes. I want to do both of them, because I, I don't know. I just, I just like both versions of the game. Both versions of festival mode. So I'm going to start with single mode, then team mode. And, it, and just to prove to you that it is that time of year of Christmas... I just got a few hours ago early today, I actually just redecorated my Christmas tree that I have right next to me in here, and I'm going to show you just a minute. So hold on, I'll go ahead and show you now. Hold on, let me pause the camera first. So here it is. This is my Christmas tree. Like I said, I decorated it. You can barely see some ornaments on it and stuff like that. If you zoom it in close, you can see some. And of course, there's electric lights on, and of course, I decided to turn the light off so you can see the whole thing. Pretty awesome. 
Alright, I'm back. So, that was my Christmas tree, and yep, I'm really excited to do this, because I really love this game. You know, out of all the Mario and Sonic Olympic games that they went Olympic games that they made over the years, this is my favorite version of the, you know, the crossover of Mario and Sonic. Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Winter Games is my number one favorite, and Mario and Sonic at the London 2012 Olympic Games is my second favorite. So, yep, I'm really glad to do this again, because like I said, I love this game. It's really awesome, so... I'm good, not going to waste any time at all. I'm going to go ahead and do single mode. I'm really excited to do this again after two years. Let's do it! Really brings back a lot of memories for me to do this again. I just I just feel so cool just having the, the Christmas tree lights on in here and I have the light off. Of course, here's the first day. Check the volume. And there's the Mario cast. And there's the Sonic cast. It's always so cool that N N Sega and Nintendo were able to team up to make these games, you know? I'm really glad to be doing this again, because like I said, I love this game so much. It's really, really awesome. And yep, I can select any character I want, so of course, as you all know, the whole Mario and Sonic character franchises, every each character has different unique abilities, so as you can see from this blue row, there's speed types. On the red one, there's power types. The greens are the skills, and the yellows are the all-round types. So each character has, like, a different type of style and stuff, and it's pretty cool, you know. All these characters are pretty radical. It doesn't matter who you pick, really, but I like them all, of course. So who do we got? You've got, you've got Mario himself, Sonic himself, and these are their friends, so you've got Daisy... Shadow, Yoshi, Metal Sonic, Donkey Kong, Wario, Victor, Bowser, Knuckles, Amy, Luigi, Blaze, Bowser Jr., Peach, Tails, Waluigi, Dr. Eggman, and Silver. So, take your pick. But that's not all. You can also pick the me characters that you have as well. And I've made a lot of me characters since the last time I played this game. I got myself. I'm still dressed in the Santa outfit. I don't know why I haven't changed in my outfit yet, but... I probably will change my outfit probably right now. I'm probably going to have to pause the video because I forgot to change my outfit before making this video. So, And I've also got my mom, my dad, my brother, and I've got lots of WWE superstars. Dwayne The Rock Johnson, John Cena, Daniel Bryan, and there's Dean Ambrose. I gave him a new update because when he returned to WWE 2018, he got an update. And there's Seth Rollins, Roman Reigns. These were my teammates in my team mode, festival mode, in my last time. So I've got lots of superstars I've made. But, of course, I'm going to be playing as myself. But before I select him, I'm probably going to pause the video real quick so I can change his outfit because I really want to change this outfit so badly. So, be right back, you guys. I will play as myself, but let me go ahead and just get my me character changed. Okay, I'm back, you guys. It took me a few minutes for me to change my outfit because I was trying. I had to buy some clothing outfits because the ones I had and already bought, I didn't like. So, this is my me's new outfit. It may not be the most inspiring outfit, but at least it's good enough, you know, I wanted to go back to normal. I didn't want to dress like Santa Claus anymore. It's not that I don't like Santa Claus, it's just, you know, I probably wouldn't be able to make a good Santa Claus, you know. So I just decided to go back to normal clothing. And you probably have already looked at my meat character from a Wii Sports gameplay, so you didn't know what he looks like. This is my outfit. <laughs> Excuse me, that was a hiccup. So this is what I look like now, and I'm about ready to get started. So let's go ahead and select myself. And I'm ready to do it. Let's do it, guys. Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Winter Games Festival Mode Single Mode. Well, more specifically, Festival Single Mode. Yep, of course. And I do not plan on deleting my me. Alright, now to the second day. And there's Cream and Toad, and this is what one of them has to say. Cream says, Good morning, Joe Flash, and thank a thanks a lot for changing my name. Good morning, Joe Flash. That opening ceremony yesterday sure was great. Yep. Training and matches start today, says Toad. Yeah. Cream says, the athlete who earns the most points from training and matches between now and day 16 becomes the overall champion. Oh, Toad says, <laughs> that doesn't even sound like Toad at all. That voice, he was like, oh, my God, oh, my God. <laughs> that sounded almost like Cream. Never mind. Toad says, Cream and I are going to be rooting for you, Joe Flash. Good luck. Thank you. 
you have training seasons so sessions today. How well do you, you do in training will determine how many points you earn, so do your best. Remember, your goal is to win the overall championship. Yep. Alrighty, so let's do it. And up there at the top, well, actually, you can't see it all that well, actually, I don't think. Can you see it? Oh, 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 sorry, I was looking at the wrong part of the screen. <laughs> you can see it, sorry. I didn't think my camera was high enough at first, but then I looked at it because, you know, I had this little box in the way to keep it standing up so I couldn't see, but that's alright. So as you can see at the top, I'm on day two, and that's how many days I have remaining till, you know, the final ceremony and, you know, whoever wins. So I got zero points at the moment because I just started, and so of course today, it's just all training mode, so we got training for individual large hill, there's two different versions of the large hill event, speed jumping, there's individual and team large hill. When I do team mode a little bit later on, after I complete single mode, I'll be doing team large hill. So we got training for individual large hill, and training for alpine skiing downhill. I'm just, I'm just going to go from what I did the last time when I played this two years ago, three years ago. I'm going to go from left to right, so let's do individual large hill first. Alright, sorry, I had to pause it real quick. My mom needed to borrow some batteries because her remote's running low. Her and dad are watching Christmas movies in there, so I'm just in here chilling. So let's go ahead and do it. It's been kind of like a while, like two years since I haven't played this game, so maybe I might remember how to do some of the events. Some of them I might need some training tips again, so we'll see. I might need some training tips for this one because I don't play this one all that much, so we'll see. Individual Arch Hill. Me. The new and improved me, aka Joe Flash. That's like a casual outfit I'm wearing pretty much, because there was just no other outfit I could find since I don't usually wear a lot of outfits. I think I remember how to do this, but you know what? I'm going to go ahead and do the training tips so I can remember. I might need to stand up to do this. There we go. Yep. Okay. Alright. Alright. Oops. With one jump. Okay, past the P point 100 meters. Alright. It's okay if my training fails, at least it's only a training event, you know. Let's use my special. Two, one. Awesome! That was even better than what I just did. That's a better one. Yep, I did it. Training completed. Heck yeah, off to a good start. I love this victory music as well. I could just listen to that all the time if I could, this little victory music for when you win, or, you know, the results, whatever. It's not really winning music, it's just result music, but whatever. So, yep, that's completed. And let's go on to the next event, shall we? Cream says, that was really good, thank you. With results like that, you should do fine in the matches. I shall. Just one more event left for today. Good luck. Thank you. Alright, now the one last event is Alpine Skiing Downhill, the training mode. Let's do it. Downhill. I actually like this event. I actually don't mind this one at all. 
And pretty much it's just like the previous event where we use skis, except we'll use those little hand stick things, whatever they're called. Alright, let's do it. If I, remember, if I remember how to do these events, I really don't exactly need to do training, even though you're kind of supposed to, but I pretty much already remember how to do these, so I don't really need to do this, but I'm going to do it anyway. through ten or more glowing gates. Alright. Let's go! I'll use my special in the end. I usually always like to use my special move in the ends, just to time it right, you know, so... If I get off that line, then I'll start slowing down a little bit. It said I can go up to slow down, but I pretty much don't need it. I can pretty much control this, I think. Or I might. We'll just see. I'm pretty much doing good. I've already completed the goal. I made it to more than 10, so... Yep, the training's already completed. Ooh. Control yourself. Jump highway, boy. Can I pass them all? Yep, I shall. Perfect way to finish it. Easy peasy. Woo! God, it just feels like it's been so long since I haven't played this game. I really love this game so much. I'm really glad I decided to play it again for my YouTube channel. On to the next day. The third day. Day three. Cream right says, good morning, Joe Flash. Did you get lots of good sleep last night? Well, I did get some sleep for real last night, so yeah, I did get enough sleep. <laughs> the great weather today feels warmful, wonderful. <laughs> I almost said warmful. What the heck? <laughs> wonderful, doesn't it? Yes. There are training sessions and dream events scheduled for today. This dream event will test the ski techniques you learned yesterday. How exciting! All right. Good luck today. Thank you. You pretty much already said that. I didn't really have to read that, but okay. So there's training for Skeleton, which is pretty much like Bob Slave, except you're doing an individual. And the Dream Event, I'll do Dream Alpine, which is what I just did the previous day with the training for Alpine Skiing Downhill. Alrighty. Let's go from left and right, of course, so let's do the training for Skeleton first. Skeleton! Let's go ahead and start this joint, man. I'm not wasting any time at all. That's me. Yahoo! Now, like I said, for most of the events, I'll probably skip the trainings because I pretty much remember how to do this stuff, so... But I'm gonna do it anyway, just so I can remember. Because, like I said, it's been two years since I've played this game. I was a little late on that. Once the race begins, yep. Yeah.
Alright, I gotta grab 20 or more coins, okay. Ugh! Okay, I'm gonna have to do better the next time I do this event. I usually used to do better than that. Jesus, I missed those points. I need two more. Oh, I missed. Awesome. Got it. Training completed. Training completed. Woo! Awesome. That was pretty nice. And quite co coincidental too, since it just told me nice. Yep. I really just love this game so much. Ooh, that was loud at first. Toad says that was great, Joe Flash. You're ready for anything. I guess so. Now just put that to work in the matches. I shall. Now it's time for the last event of the day. Good luck. And that is Dream Alpine. Let's do it! Dream Alpine! Now it's pretty cool because when you're doing dream events, or I think you could do it in regular events as well, but you have to actually play the events, you can actually change the music. I actually unlocked a new thing not too long ago, like... Well, I've already locked it like two years ago, but like there's an option where you can play the radio soundtrack and you can change the music, you know what I mean? So, if I press the minus button, I can change the music. But I'm just gonna leave it the way it is, because I like this song. So let's just leave it the way it is. That song is from Sonic Heroes, which is on the GameCube, and... I still have the game, but I haven't played it in a long time because I don't have a GameCube system, but I'm hoping I can get one for Christmas or maybe somewhere in the future. Because I love to play those old GameCube games again because I really miss them so much. They're good games. And my opponents are Mario, Sonic, and Donkey Kong. Alright, that's a pretty exchangeable, pretty uh, good range of characters to go against. Mario time! Woohoo! I've been working on my Mario voice. Too easy! Piece of cake! And that's my record, apparently, down at the bottom. My record is two minutes and third three seconds. Alright. Let's see if I can't break that record. All right, Donkey Kong. Hi, Donkey. Woo, look at that jump. Boom, shakalaka. I gotta start aiming down so I can go faster. I don't want to mess up. I'm doing pretty good. I'm getting faster, so... Yeah, I think if you collect, like, five or four rings, you can get another boost thing, so that's what it is. Should I throw the screen show out? Nope, I missed. Whoa, watch it. <laughs> Sonic got hit. I gotta start speeding up. Ah, I got hit. Crap. I'm in the snow. I gotta start speeding up, I'm kind of going slow. Uh-oh. Ah, I almost got hit! Oh, I'm in the snow, F freak. Mm, I missed it. I might lose, actually. I'm getting slower. 
Jeez, I might actually lose. I'm getting kind of slow. Or maybe I can still make it. Yes, I can. Didn't break the record, but that's okay. I could have did better, but that's alright. I still won. Yep, I got first place. Awesome. Alrighty. And now on to the rewards. Or the awards, whatever. Yes, I did win a first medal. I was really going pretty slow there at first, but then I was eventually able to catch back up. Rival appears. Ah, yes. One of my favorite parts about the festival mode is the rival appears, the rival showdowns. Now, the rivals are like boss characters. They will show up eventually at some point, like, I don't know, how, like after a day or something, I don't know, whatever. And they'll challenge you to an event, and you can already see what the event will be that they'll challenge me to, and that is Alpi Skiing Downhill. I love this music as well. And I gotta pretty much beat the boss in this event, so let's click on it. And my opponent is... King Boo! If you guys remember my previous single mode gameplay three years ago, then you might remember, but that's okay. I'm still gonna say it anyway. And King Boo says, Hee hee hee! I saw that Alpine Downhill event of yours yesterday. Looks like you need to take a lesson in speed from me! And that lesson starts today. I challenge you to an Alpine Downhill match. Hee <laughs> Alright. King Boo's always the first, uh, boss you gotta face, and he's really pretty much... pretty much an easy one. Like I said, pretty much the boss fights get harder as the more and more days you go by, but they start out pretty easy at first, so... King Boo's gonna be pretty easy. Flash vs. King Boo. And of course, because King Boo's a ghost, he don't need skis. Let's do it! Perfect timing. And there's King Boo. Uh-oh, I'm already going off. But I still got back on. Oh yeah, that's right. Just stay focused. Woo! Keep going. Uh oh, I'm going off. There I go. I'm way in the lead. Look at King Boo. Look at the map on the right. I'm way up ahead of him. He doesn't stand a chance. Oh, turn around. Ah, oh, I missed it. Okay, use this. I gotta speed up a little. I was gonna save it for the finish line, but since I messed up right there, I'm gonna need to use it. Like I said, taking the turns is kind of hard. Ah! I'm going way off the map. I'm usually supposed. Oh, yeah, I can push up to slow down. I should have did that. That's okay. I'll still beat King Boo. He don't stand a chance. Look how far he behind he is. I only missed one, so I won't get a perfect score, but that's okay. I just destroyed King Boo. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I did win. Woo! Just a fair boss fight, pretty much. <laughs> I really just can't say too much, because like I said, you already, if you already guys watched my original gameplay back three years ago, if you've been following my channel long enough, then you already know I've already done this before, so it's really not hard at all.
I just look kind of graceful just looking at myself in the replays for some reason. Alright, let's go ahead and just flip it. If you want to watch the actual replays, like you press the minus button, you can just see the whole screen without having those little results and right in front of it. But that's okay, I don't need to see. Alright, you guys, that is the end of the first part. Uh, the video's up to 30 minutes. You know, after once 30 minutes hits, I gotta stop the video, so even though we're on to day four. Actually, you know what? Let me just read this real quick. Jump, good morning, Joe Flash. That match between you and King Boo yesterday was really something. Yep. This is day four. Let's take a look at the results so far. Nobody's won a gold, silver, or bronze because there was no actual Olympic events. I did win a first place medal in that dream event. And the total points? I have 20 and I'm already in the lead. Who else? Okay, Silver, Daisy, and Bowser and Dr. Eggman are playing as well. Congratulations! You ranked number one in points so far, thank you. Now all you have to do is keep it up. Yep, I shall. I better hurry up. You'll finally be completing competing for a gold medal in an Olympic event today. Alright, this is a chance for you to score 10 points if you come in first place. Good luck today. Yes. But I'll save that for next time, because like I said, the 30 minute mark in the video's already hit, so I gotta go ahead and end it. That'll be it for today, guys. If you like this video, give a thumbs up, dislike, give a thumbs down. But until then, to all you guys, men and boys out there, boom, fist bumps go to all you, and to all the girls, ladies, and women out there, kisses go out to all of you. Until then, this is Joe Flash signing off, and have a good day.